<laughs> Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him, Horatio. <laughs> Not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that. The coroners. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. You have the address? It's the alley off Aliso between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, Phelps. May as well follow the trail. You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall, that brazen son of a bitch. I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. Something bad happened to her, Glenn. And so far, we have her husband as a suspect, and you. Give us something that will make us go away. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robin. You know, you let us take some for the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. You a friend of Evelyn Summers? Who's asking? Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my rights. You don't have any. Answer the question. Evelyn mooches for drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? Keep writing me, copper. One more time, pal, and I'll break your fucking jaw. <laughs> 